negotiate with North Korea. He says despite the war of words, conflict is not inevitable. If North Korea's major issue is security concerns, and their major issue is the so-called hostile policy we have towards North Korea, we're prepared to talk about their security concerns. But we are not walking away from insisting that they eventually will have to give up their nuclear weapons. Tonight, the U.S. is concerned about another weapon in Kim's arsenal, cyber warfare. They have a very robust capability. It is cheap. If you compare the amount invested in their cyber program compared to the amount of money invested in their conventional weapon systems programs or their nuclear program, it is pennies on the dollar. Kim Jong-un is believed to have an army of more than 6,000 hackers, most of them from North Korea's top intelligence agency. Experts say they've improved their capabilities dramatically over the past five years with one skill that stands out. North Korea is the only government that robs banks. North Korean hackers are believed to have cyber heisted $81 million from the Central Bank of Bangladesh last year. Analysts say most of the money they steal pays for Kim's weapons programs. The concern now is that North Korea could expand its lists of targets from money to American missiles. If there's missile defenses or command and control or military operations that are vulnerable, um, they will be able to get in and they will look to disrupt them, cause confusion, turn things off. One thing you need to know about North Korea's nuclear weapons, they're only becoming more dangerous. Each nuclear test, each missile launch, only brings North Korean leader Kim Jong-un closer to his ultimate goal, an intercontinental ballistic missile with a nuclear warhead capable of striking the mainland U.S. It's only a matter of time. We're seeing this frantic pace of testing, which means that Kim's arsenal is growing quickly and becoming more advanced. Right now, North Korea could launch a devastating strike with conventional weapons on highly populated areas like Seoul or maybe even Tokyo. And soon, those missiles, perhaps with nuclear tips, will be able to go even further and with greater accuracy. Even if North Korea will never match the firepower of the U.S., they have the potential to kill a lot of people and do a lot of damage if they ever feel cornered. Kim's government views these nuclear weapons as vital to their survival as a nation. I've been in North Korea many times, and many times their officials have told me they will not give up their nuclear weapons. Speaking at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies in Washington on Thursday, CIA Director Mike Pompeo warned that North Korea could be only months away from perfecting its nuclear weapons capabilities. He emphasized the need for a concerted global effort to pressure the regime. They are closer now than they were five years ago, and I expect they will be closer in five months than they are today, absent uh, a global effort to push back against them. And it is the case that they are close enough now in their capabilities that from a U.S. policy perspective, uh, uh, we ought to behave as if we are on the cusp of them achieving that objective.